motherfucker. Ron Stozo Edwards. What's my partner in crime? Stozo. Stozo, bring your black ass up here. Yeah, clowning around the old keyboards. You got Mr. Ron Stozo Edwards. I have pasted the maggots in the minds of the universe, and I was not offended, for I knew I had to rise above it all or drown in my own shit. We want Stozo! We want Stozo! Won't you give us Stozo? We want Stozo! Happy birthday, motherfucker. Ron Stozo Edwards. Fuck around, does that happen? Without his suggestions and directions. He must be upside down, clown. He must be upside down, clown. Hey, George, who are you talking to? I'm talking to Stozo, y'all. Y'all didn't even see this one yet. This the one with the nose, man. The clown nose. Stozo the clown. Hey, folks out there, it's me and uh, Parlet, the doctor, yeah. Parlet, the horny horns. You know the little cartoons on that album coming? That's Stozo, y'all know. Oh, to Lord, y'all know Pedro Bell. Hey, I'm Stozo the Clown. They think I'm what, uh, George? They think we're upside down. That's it, man. We're going to say that really. Say it loud. Say it, say it on They it. think we're upside down. And uh, you they must think be we're uh, upside what? Down. You, you must be uh, what? Uh, that Dr. Funkenstein here. Yeah. You must yeah. be upside down, Clown, huh? Okay. <laughs> I was listening to the radio one day, and um, I heard this song called I Just Want to Testify. And it totally blew my mind, you know, because I was into Motown. And so it kind of sounded like Motown, but it was like, wow, oh, this is a little strange. It's just kind of nasty and, and crazy and, and psychedelic. George would give Pedro a concept and he'd go insane with it and just totally nail, totally nail exactly what George wanted, as if George wrote it himself. And then you had Michael Hampton, who would wear a, a fencing mask. You never even really got to see Michael Hampton. He was a guitar player. You had Gary Shider wearing a diaper. I still wear a diaper. He and the girls coming out, and you know, our, we had our own little go-go girls out there. Once they kicked off the landing of the mothership, everybody's show had to go, you know? <laughs> story, man. I'm sitting here reading this uh, Sly and the Family Stone book, and uh, I wonder what would happen if I took the puppets, called up some of the gals, and got my animator, you know, draw some cartoons, tune this mother out, man. It'd be kind of upside down, but I bet you they'll, they'll probably want to know where that pump came from, man. But uh, I'm ready, man. Are you ready? I'm ready, man. Bottom of the mud, 
I hope that. Talk about he 90 is 90, man. Quit slipping. Where is your mother? Your mother? 